Hey everybody, Sponge Murphy here, and as I said in today's video, I'm going to be breaking down how much each unit costs in the brand new Carrion Empire box. Uh, now the box is absolutely full of models, there's plenty in it, so there is an actual big, big saving in this. Um, so I'm going to start off with the fleshy record side, and we're going to start off with the 20 man unit of Crip Ghouls. Uh, one of my favourite units in the game uh, from the hobby side, simply because they're so versatile. Um, the body parts, the arms can mix and match with a lot of other models and you can still get really nice looking conversions with it. There is 20 in this and it's coming in at 37 euro. So it's a bit pricey but you're getting 20 models and they're really nice models so you have plenty of chances to do conversions, you can mix and match things as I said before. But um, a bit pricey but it is worth it, it's a really great looking unit. Up next we have the Vargas and the Cryptars, the two big, two bigger heavy hitters of the Flesh Eater Quartz. Now these guys are, this is part of a dual kit. You can either make the Cryptars or you can make the Vargas or you can mix and match, whatever you want. So we do get two sets of them. Um, I much prefer the Cryptars over the Vargas because the Cryptars, I think they look nicer. Uh, it's just a personal preference really. Um, they're like their big muscular guys, or big muscular versions of Crypt Ghouls. Um, and I like that I want to convert this unit up so hopefully I can kind of get some com scaven conversions in with that and just like the Crypt Ghouls the, their bodies are very kind of universal so you can kind of I imagine it would be pretty simple to mix and match with other parts of uh, different armies now the unit's coming in at 37 euro it's well 37 euro each so it's a bit pricey for three guys um, but they're three great models, you're going to get lots and lots of spare parts. The wings from the Vargas, for example, if you make the Crypt Ghouls, you're going to have lots of wings left over, which you know aren't too easy to get um, in the Warhammer hobby world. So, pricey, but you get more than just three models of it. You get a lot of spare bits and spare parts as well. Now that's it mostly for the Flesh Eater course, because at the end of the video, I'm going to be adding a rough price of what I think the heroes could be. So that's kind of it for now for them. So I'm gonna move on to the Skaven. And up first we have the three man unit of Storm, I couldn't remember the name for a second, of Storm Fiends. Now these are coming in at 50 euro. This is a really expensive box, but the models are fantastic. I had these models before I built them. I haven't painted them yet, but they're fantastic. They're a hell of a lot bigger than I thought they were gonna be. And there's a lot of parts on them. They take quite a while to build because there's so many small bits. Um, but like I'm looking at this box more of a, as a conversion kit because I have everything in this except for the heroes and the doom wheel so I'm trying to think of what can I do different with these guys um, so there's a lot of spare parts in that it's 50 euro is, a, is, a, is expensive to buy a box just for conversions but even if you don't do that the box is still fantastic you get different loadouts with them which I think in the new rules you have to kind of stick with the box loadout I think I'm not too sure I'm not really a player so I'm not too sure on that but the models are fantastic and they're to me personally I think they're well worth 50 euro up next we have the only model I don't have in this which is the doom wheel 26 euro really cheap Um, I think a lot of armies or a lot of people run about two or three of these Um, so I'm not too sure it, it looks like it's made up of a million pieces when I looked at the instructions so I don't know what it's going to be like to put together there's a lot of um giant rats in it so if you want to like get a kit and keep the giant rats out of it, instead of putting them on the bases or putting them on parts of the model you're going to get a lot of giant rats and little smaller rats as well and that's so that's a nice little bonus extra but the model itself it looks great it looks advanced as hell it looks like something that only skaven could come up with and um, yeah so 26 euros is not bad for this one and then finally we have the warp lightning cannon which i have right here actually well i have most of it i haven't got the wheels put on but um, again, this is a dual kit, so you get to make the Warp Lightning Cannon or you get to make the Plague Claw Catapult. So with this box, I'm going to be making the Plague Claw, Plague Claw Catapult because I already have the Warp Lightning Cannon. But um, it's a really cool kit, a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. But again, I haven't put the wheels on and there's different ways you can build it. So you can have it like built lengthways and you can have it built higher up and you can have the cannon going across this way. So there's a few different options with that. You do get, uh, I think, at least one skaven model to go on each side of it so if you have the warp lightning cannon you have kind of a guy with a gas mask or a 
I think he has a mask on him and he's pulling the lever with, with the play claw side of it. I think you get the guy with the shovel and he's like shoveling the the, the play stuff onto the catapult. Um, really nice for the price of 26 euros. Pretty good. Uh, it's really cheap and yeah, it's a decent enough one. Looks good for me. And then finally we have the two hero models. Now I couldn't exactly put a price on these because there is no separate. Uh, Ghoul King model for the Flesh Eater Courts. If you want to get a, an official Ghoul King model, you have to get the Terror Guys kit. And um, the Bombardier model is brand new, so I kind of put a price of roughly seventeen fifty on each one, so that adds an extra thirty five euro from both sides, uh, or thirty five euro altogether, onto the uh, price. So I think that's a fair price. I think maybe. If they did bring them out separately, they could push it to 20, but I'm just going to go roughly. Um, a couple of euro or a couple of pound here and there isn't going to matter too much in the grand scheme of it, I don't think. But I think 35 euro for the two of them is a fair estimate. So with all the talk of units and numbers and prices, how much exactly does this box cost individually? Roughly 248 euro. So if you're buying the box from Games Workshop for 125 euro, you're saving a massive 123 euro. Now if you're like me and you want to save way more money again, I buy all my stuff from Element Games. Check out the link below. If you go to Element Games, I saved 182 euro. It's like 40 euro cheaper. Almost 40 euro cheaper. The price there is unreal. Um, so overall, this big huge box is an absolute gem of a money saver. Now a lot of the models are uh, models that have been around for a while. But you do get two new hero models and it's just a good kit to get. Like I have the majority of these. I don't have the heroes and I don't have uh, the doom wheel. But it's just too good of a box to pass by. The models in it are fantastic. There's not one bad model in it really. So yeah, I highly recommend getting this box if you're into saving money. You want to see what's making that noise? Hey! You finished? Banjo making a lot of noise on the floor there. So yeah, if you want to save money with getting fantastic models, check out this box. I couldn't recommend it highly enough. I'm going to be putting some of these together now pretty soon. So stay tuned for the next few videos for that. I'm going to start off with the hero models simply because I'm dying to have a look at them and see what they're like. So make sure to check out Element Games and see their prices on it. Use the link below. I always use Element Games. It's my number one place to go to for this stuff because I, I don't know how to make money on it. I really don't. But um, thanks for checking this video out. Hopefully you guys learned something new from it. Hopefully you got to figure, hopefully you got to figure out. Um, or hopefully you got to see how much you saved. And uh, you got to listen to me blabber on for a little bit out in the hobby shit out here. So once again, thanks for watching. Hit the like button. Comment if you haven't. And subscribe if you haven't already. And once again, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys next video.